And once again, we are back with some hardcore podcasting goodness revolving around what is it? Well, I, I would have to say podcasting via our studio, via our voluptuously tasty, disgusting studio. And who are I'm we here so with? I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so excited! What the fuck is going on with that huge giant tendril in the sky? Have you seen this shit? Don't worry about that. That's not what this is about, bro ham. Get over here. I walked outside and I looked up. I'm like, what the fuck is that? It's cool. It looks like a lava bowl in the sky. Yeah, it's got a lava it's not bowl. Bad. It's pretty cool. Anyways, I am Lance Farside. How's it going, peeps? Yo, what's up, his bitch? And the doing, uh, the voice of the amazing, the amazing guy that uh, always comes on here and sighs at the beginning of each of our episodes <sighs> is the amazing Phyllis. 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 That's oh. perfect. Oh, he's just saying that he talks to each other on their own. I was asking them why they are not making use of our awesome mumble technology, which is currently how Lance – I want to call you Lance Farskin. Foreskin from right now. Foreskin? Lance, Lance Foreskin. Foreskin. Uh, That's my porn name. <laughs> oh, come on. You can do a better porn name than that. Now everyone knows it. <laughs> everyone knows what your porn name is. Now everyone's going to be like <laughs> – everyone's going to rush over onto the interwebs and be like, Lance Foreskin. Where's Lance Foreskin? They need themselves some of this. Okay, I am They're... now over at the studio. I am walking in right now. Hola. <laughs> Is that what you wanted me to do? I thought you were going to do something crazy. Hola, hola, hola. <laughs> yeah, um, you in and out of flower. Come over here. What'd you do? <laughs> so who's the egg and who's the sword? You're the egg. <laughs> You're I'm the, the ovum. Man. I'm the ovum. I'm the egg man. Oh man, look yeah. at all this stuff. All these new changes that have been happening. Yeah, uh, and now the desk see. doesn't make that weird clicking sound anymore. Uh, that, that's no fun. I kind of enjoyed it because I have to give you shit about it. <laughs> click, 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 click. All right, let's see. How do I? What do I do? Hold on. Uh, there we go. All right, so it's another day. Relaxing. It's good to see you. We've been gone. If you listeners are devout uh, something radio dot netters, you'll <laughs> that's very close to something <laughs> something else. Um, you'll know that we we skipped a week. We were at we were October festing. We were October festing the shit out of some crap. What? <laughs> Word. We're at October festing in it is not. Tell them about our October festing goodness. Are you already starting? I want to start. Possibly. I, I don't know. I went and I bought these beers. Today I'm drinking Kona Brewing Company Big Wave Golden Ale. I decided not to go with the dark this time because it nice. kind of fucks me up every single time. Yeah, you're, and then after you're about learning. six beers, yeah, well, I'm trying to trying to learn a little something something. And after about six One beers week at a time. and mm -hmm. an hour and a half of talking about stupid bullshit, I always want to go to Del Taco and get some food because that sounds like a wise idea at around six beers in after an hour so <laughs> like you know what maybe i'll try to to have a little bit less of six beers before i walk on in here and record some shit there you go um i actually had a head start with a blue moon uh october fest or october harvest or some nonsense and my uh activities will be sponsored by pyramid apricot ale unfiltered wheat ale Pyramid looks, apricot ale, huh? Looks delicious. I like wheat beers, so this is going to be fun. Hold on, I gotta. There we go. It's taking screenshots, trying to get everything set up. Now I can still see my sword. That's fun. Okay, so we got that pyramid ale deliciousness. I'm gonna drink my Kona. <sighs> Are you ready? All right. Do you want me to start? Or do you want to start? I'm gonna start. All right. So everyone, you you, you start drinking your shit. I want to hear it. I'm not doing anything until I can hear it. Oh, oh, you must be doing actually something. So, yeah, last week we ended up going on over to Old World, which is over in the Huntington Beach area. Uh, Lance Farside had some Groupon coupons where he had free passes for two people as well as some um, free tasters or free, like, bratwurst bullshit. So if you had, you know, if you, it was stupid not to go as well as it's the very last night of the actual coupon. So everything was expiring, which means that pretty much everyone there was all there because they had these Groupons that they had to make use of. And it was actually quite a few people there, a lot more than I was expecting on a random Thursday. Yeah, night. So, yeah it was good times. Uh, I ended yeah. up getting a I'm drinking, deal. I'm drinking. Okay, go. I ended up getting a deal, and 
it 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 was like a month and a half ago that I ended up getting this deal and I was like, oh yeah, we got all of October. There was like five weeks that you could use it at the end of September or all through October. And then lo and behold, we find ourselves at uh, the last week of October and they're only good for Wednesdays and Thursdays. So right. that, so last Thursday, um, yeah, we just had to, we had to make it happen. We had to go for it and it was good times. Two brats. Uh, two flights of beer and free entrance after I paid for the voucher or whatever, which wasn't expensive at all. And then good time until I met a nice, uh, I think I might have spent like 15 bucks or something like that. 15 bucks altogether for two essential passes, as well as each one of those had, uh, what was it almost like a shot and a half of beer times eight? Yeah. Yeah, that was a fat shot of beer, and they gave <laughs> us a they gave us a nice uh, taster of the the good stuff that we could order, and then two big fat brats. It's good right. times. Oh man, there was so much brat in our faces; it was insane. As well as we met up with our good friend Lauren, who uh, yeah. we see off and on at random places, and she was kind of giving me I was giving her a hard time because we never fucking see her, and she was giving me a hard <laughs> time because we never fucking invite her. So I was like, oh well, you know, whose fault is that? She's one of those people that. I'm sure that other people have the friends like this where you see them and they're they're like having a good time and they're they're nice enough people and then they're like oh this was so much fun we should do it again let me know the next time you guys go out so you let them know the next time you guys go out and they don't show up and then and the next time they go out and then they don't respond I mean those those type of people are everywhere so yeah they're like social it, butterflies but since they're being asked out by so many damn people pretty much they don't go to anything so. They, they just go to a select few. It's kind of like if you asked me to go do something and I said yes every single time, and then someone else says yes and I tell you no, but I actually, you know, inform you. I, I think that's why she gets along with Rhett so well is because Rhett says yes to everything, but he goes to... flakes. <laughs> so he says yes to every single thing in the world, but he goes to absolutely none of it. And then, then you just kind of run into that situation where you kind of go, okay, well, all right. You don't really ever <laughs> expect him to show up. If it does, it's like a rare treat. Like, oh, man, I can't believe he actually showed up. He's been more on it recently, but she's so she would be more like a social open cocoon, partially open cocoon. Uh, I'm sure that she would be very like, there's a, all over there's that. a butterfly in there. Look at that. <laughs> there, there's a butterfly happening <laughs> right now. And I don't know, but it was cool seeing her. She was with a bunch of people and we kind of randomly walked on around and picked up some stuff. And while we're waiting in line, because what was that? I brought a 50 ounce or 55 ounce mug. You brought Wait, my 50 ounce mug. Okay, all right, all right. Hold on one second. You know, no, no reason to get fucking uppity about that shit. Okay, so I stop over at Lance's house, and we sit around. And we have a couple precursor beers. You know, we were having a mm-hmm. tailgate party before we actually go to the Oktoberfest situation. And so he has his Stein. He has a Stein with a dragon on the side of it with a lip. It looks like a custom-made Stein or something like that. And uh, th- then he has this other, uh, what is it? He has this other huge giant fucking cup. That on the side of it, it just says like, you know, 10 ounce, 20 ounce, 40 ounce. It goes all the way up to 50 ounces, and there's maybe about another inch and a half of space above it. So you can actually pour a whole bunch <laughs> up. So it would be fucking insane. Be like, I think you'd probably get a total of 60 ounces of beer in that goddamn cup. So my intention was to go there with that cup. First of all, Lance didn't think I'd be able to get in with it. And uh, second of all, it was hopefully... I'd be able to go and pay the same amount of money that Lance would pay with his 32 ounce mug, and I'd get mine filled up all the way to the very top. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and drink and adjust your mic closer or something. You're a little foggy when I'm listening to it. Really? Right, one sec. Sorry, I, I, I gotta tell Mr. Wonky to go to hell. There you Hold go. On. And I'm, drink. Uh, can you hear me better now? Yes. Do I do I do I sound like sex? You sound like you're making sex to my ear hole. Oh, man. Oh, feels so good. All right. All right. Drinking. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have that giant thing. I got it from an Oktoberfest, like three. They, uh, I looked at guidelines for an old world Oktoberfest out here in California and about three years ago. And they said that there's no limit on the size or the type of mug, stein that you could bring in or receptacle that you could bring in and they would fill it up for the same price they would just have like a large beer price which was like twelve dollars or something like that and they would just fill it on up whatever it was so fill it on up fill it on up so i called a bunch of places like spencer's and i went online and i was trying to find the biggest like you're looking at leader and then you're looking at 
like a thousand milliliters and then like 1200 milliliters and stuff and i was like there's got to be I found some that were that were very generous sized, but this was the one I ended up finding at a Spencer's out in uh, Whittier, I think. Right. I drove out there because they said that they, yeah, they had that 60 ouncer, and that thing is in charge. My girlfriend, uh, when I when we originally used it two, two or three years ago, she took a picture of it. It looks like she's drinking out of daddy's cup. <laughs> okay, one second. I think I need to resize this so it's actually fully on. So one second. I'm going to stop the recording for half a second. Okay. And we are back. So that's going to be a lot you of fun missed fucking it. editing that shit. I the know there was so much crazy thing happened. happened just now. Like what? Tell like, me. Tell me. I, I blinked and I turned my head to the right and then I saw my reflection and I was like, oh my God, you are so handsome. And then I turned back and then you said something about... Uh, us being back on or something like that. Take that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. Um, I'm going to take all your sticks. All your I got, fire I got, sticks. I got a lot of sticks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, we went and we joined up and I I was actually happy to see that. I saw that giant fucking mug and you were scared that they wouldn't let you in with it. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to take it with yeah. you. If they're not able, if we can't get in, we have to walk what, across the street to put it back in the car. It's not a big deal. So yeah, both minutes are going to be tedious. But the thing was, I, I looked at the guidelines when I bought the uh, when I bought the vouchers, and it said that they would only have plastic ones, and it said that they would fill up their cup and then pour it into ours beforehand, so that they'd be able to accurately um, know how much they were actually pouring into those cups, so they wouldn't just blindly fill anything and proceed that that's why i didn't that's why i didn't think we could bring in glass ones that were any size that we wanted um i heard that only plastic or ceramic or plastic or whatever the, the plastic substitute is uh would be let in and it turns out that i was wrong go ahead so yeah pretty much so we get there and they're like yeah you can bring in whatever glass you want no one cares at all it's not a big deal and <laughs> what it actually turns on out is well are you opening up the other beer or no oh am i supposed to be finished with this one yet no i, I was just trying to figure it out i didn't actually do a recording or set a time for the first one you so gotta start your timer bro I, i'm gonna wait till we're done with it and then i'm gonna start it for the next one that's cool i got sometimes five I years say, left sometimes bro. i say bro um it's really due to my environment because i can't say I mean, I curse a lot, but I'm trying to not curse as much around uh, the lady. So what I lady? say bro a lot because I used to say, um, you know, the normal things that people usually say around their girlfriends. They're like, yo, what's up, cunt? Or, hey, tit bag or whatever. That's what guy. That's what <laughs> usually people say around their girlfriend. That's traditional. Yeah. I mean, this this doesn't come as a surprise to anyone, I'm sure. I'm sure most guys don't just be like, hey, what's up, cunt? How you doing, cunt? That's like their, their pet word for their lady, which is cunt. What's up, pending abortion? <laughs> What's up, abortion clinic in the making? <laughs> What's up, my second wife? <laughs> What's up, girl that I like to go and put sperm <laughs> deposits into? Uh, What's up, what's... concubine? <laughs> Just call her cum bucket. Okay, so what are you done with your first beer or what? Concubine is out of fashion, but I love it. It should come back into fashion. I think geisha is better little geisha that's kind of racist though unless she's yeah. like white well i was just i wasn't thinking about it because of the fact that she's asian i was just saying as far as like concubine goes i think that geisha is a better word for that than concubine geisha is the original concubine yeah, it's probably <laughs> probably a lot older than that but whatever <laughs> hold on i gotta laugh Geisha's the original concubine what would be an older concubine um woman just pit just woman. <laughs> ha- harem. Harem is the original concubine. Well, that's not a harem. That's just that's where a whole bunch of concubines gather for sexy purposes. What's the original concubine then? Eve. Uh, <laughs> that's borderline. That's 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 borderline anti how, how about fish? How about fish? <laughs> fish are the original concubine. Yeah. The snake. <laughs> uh huh. Pretty much. That sounds about right. <laughs> The, the apple. The apple's original concubine. Yeah. Because they had his way stuff. with it. RK, is it, can I start the timer yet or what? Yeah, I'm done. This, yeah. this apricot ale is delicious. It's so good. I'm going to have to bring it 
um, to our next gathering, which we see each other, what, like every half a year or so? You and I see each other about half a year? Yeah. I think we see each other all the fucking time. What are you talking about? <laughs> we see each other probably beside, if, because of, I only see Ryan and Mike more because I live with them. I go and I do shit with you more often than I do with anyone else. So take yep, solace see, that fucker. I see you almost as much as I see my belly button. Well, that's just because, you know, you put a picture of me. You actually tattooed a picture of me on your fucking ball sack. Yeah, And you're that's always true. looking at that thing. And I took a picture of it and I put it up in my cubicle. <laughs> hey, why does that look like your ball sack? Because that is. Like, who's that guy? That's that's my buddy. <laughs> this is my new tattoo. Like, you, that was two years ago. Yeah, hey. but, you know. Hey, you know what? We're fucking off topic, okay? So what happens is you go in there. <laughs> you go into the actual Oktoberfest. Uh, what is it? Old World. And when you walk up there, you're like, hey, here is my giant fucking mug of awesomeness. Please fill it up for me. And what they do now, you can bring in whatever size you want. They don't give a shit. But what they do is they go and they, they take their large glass, they fill it all the way up, and then they take that large glass that they just filled up in the plastic cup that they have, and then they pour it into your, you know, whatever your receptacle is, which for me it was a huge giant fucking glass. And I'm shaking my head because I think that other people realize – and your thing is, like, fuzzing out again. I'm not sure if you need to bring it back up to your uh, love hole. But um, what other people are probably cringing at is if you pour a beer originally, that head and and the air and the flavor and all that stuff, it'll it'll do a certain something when it's going into a glass on its own. But then when you're dumping it into a whole other glass, it's doing a whole extra thing that it doesn't need to do. Okay, continue. Well, I don't remember. I think maybe because it's coming straight off the tap, but I don't remember it being overly fizzy and heady or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So when I was doing it, or at least when I was, you know, went over there, she'd go and she'd fill it up. There was pretty much no head. And she took that and she poured it into that giant glass and then she filled it up again. So every single time I filled up your 50 ounce thing, uh, your 50 ounce giant mug of awesomeness, it it was essentially each tall glass is $10. And so to fill that up twice for your glass, it means that it was a total of a $20 to fill up your mug is how yeah. much it worked out. So, so that's, that's pretty insane. So that's how that ended up working on out. So, your glass was ten dollars and my glass was twenty dollars, and I think that throughout that entire evening I drank three of those. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's not bad. That's yeah. not bad. That's like 150 ounces of beer. I ended up. Uh, he he did the first round, so I did the second round. So I have uh, I have a pretty standard size of mine, uh, which costs like ten dollars because I guess it's a normal size of. A pint or whatever they usually fill up and then like you said about 32 like, ounces or so that big one was more than twice the normal size yeah, so she... they were going to charge him 30 bucks to fill it up originally he got 20 he got 20 so he got twice as much in there um no I went 30 up, was all together so for filling yours and filling mine was a total of 30 bucks yeah 20 and then 30 the um what they did with mine they were going to charge me again, but I went inside. I went to a slightly different booth, so my cashier was different than my pourer. Was was that how it was with yours? No, my, mine was the same okay. woman. Yeah, my cashier was different than my pourer inside. So I had her, I was like, fill it up. And she was like, all right. And she filled it up. And I, I'm already thinking that she's going to be like, that when I go up to the line, they're going to be like, that's... Thirty dollars, or that's twenty-five bucks at least, or something, to fill just that one up. But um, turns out that I screwed her and uh, got it over on her because while I was in line, as soon as she poured it, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stand in this line to pay, and I just start chugging. I chug like <laughs> I chug like fifteen ounces out of that thing. So by the time that she, by the time I get up to the cashier, she charges me thirty bucks for. The small one and the big one, um, which is what you paid. But I'm already like buzzing off of maybe a beer, maybe a whole maybe a whole pint of just downing it before I get to the cashier, so she doesn't know that I'm like squeezing her. Should have kept Come going on, back to that one. Give it to me. I, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. be surprised if you just went and lay down underneath the tap and just started you know, pouring it straight into your mouth. Like, come on, as long as it's not overflowing, just let me go. <laughs> we just take a drag of it. I just, just I want it in my tummy. Yeah, I, I would, I would say that if I worked there and then a cute girl came up and she was like, "Can you fill this up?" I would just like, I'd waterfall it. I'd pour, start pouring it into that cup, and then I'd let 
the run over of the cup go into the mug and then i'd make sure that the one pour that i do into that big cup would be the rest of it and then it would <laughs> seem like you know logistically i only filled the cup up once and put it in and it was delicious it was amazing yeah. so that's you know that's how the whole filling up went uh, over at the old world so I probably end up spending what, like 40 bucks and you spend about 40 bucks plus the 15. So I probably owe you some tastiness or something like that for, for all the awesomeness, awesomeness that ensued. We also, I don't worry while, about it. while Leo was waiting in line or I, Leo, Lance, whatever the hell you want to call him. While Lance was waiting in line, um, he ended up going and standing right behind, uh, an Asian girl. And mm-hmm. so he ended up going and striking up a conversation with him because he's a fucking social butterfly like a motherfuck. Right. He's got to talk to every single person, no matter the age, the difference, the ethnicity, whatever the fuck it is. And so he's equal opportunist, racist, slash nice guy, slash shooting the shit with anyone that fucking moves or walks or anything like that. So sounds ac- up- That sounds accurate. I'm going to put that exact phrase on my business card. It's going to exactly. be very long. I, I, well, I saw your business card. Right now, all it says is hero. So you probably need to add a little, <laughs> little something else, a little more, something additional to it. So, uh, yeah. So he ended up – but I went to go over and fill up the, the glasses as soon as I got there. And so I come back, and he's already having like a full-fledged conversation with some <laughs> random stranger. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Just yeah. like out of nowhere, hardcore. What's going on? So I yep. show up, and uh, based on the fact that I have a huge giant fucking mug on me, and everyone's like looking at it and staring at it. Like you walk around with that thing with a tray, and people are staring at you like you're a fucking god. And uh, <laughs> so I go An and I get alcoholic the god. You're like, oh my god, you are the coolest person ever. That is so much alcohol. I want to be you. <laughs> and uh, so get in line with you and then we start going and ending up talking to her ends up being a super super cool ass chick with um lots of all the same inside jokes that we generally talk about and so it was uh it was a good waste of time sitting around talking to her yeah she's good times and specifically right when we walk in the there's a just a big long line and we don't know what it is for they don't and it turns out they don't know what it's for but the people in front of them are like it's for food so we end up waiting in that line for a good at least 45 minutes right yeah it was like 45 minutes to an hour because i had to go get beer so i went over to the beer line which was pretty long and that took about 15 minutes just to get beer and then you didn't really move fucking anywhere and so when i ended up going over to you bringing over tasty scrumptious amounts of beer uh we ended up going and staying there for like another 45 minutes just waiting to get our food (laughs) by which they had pretzels but no fucking nacho cheese which sucked balls that was weird. Didn't we ask for something? Oh, yeah, yeah, nacho cheese. But, I mean, other listeners are probably like, yeah, it's Oktoberfest. <laughs> what, Can you what not cut your nails? Are, with... are you cutting your nails? No, I have a pen. Oh, it sounds like you're cutting your nails slash slapping oh. your dick on something. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'll put it down. I'll only slap my dick, so <laughs> it doesn't sound like that. Are you sure? I guess so. Oh. Yeah, I'd just let you know we have a minute and a half left before our next beer. A minute and a half? What's yeah. our usual... What? Uh, ten minutes. We've already gone eight and a half minutes. I'm, so I'm, to st- I'm a surprise Did we start on are. two already? No, we're on beer number two. I have a half a beer left. I'm drink. Oh, I'm drinking beer number two? I gotta catch up, bro. You're not... E- wait, wait, you're not even on beer number two yet? I am. I didn't know we were drinking it. <laughs> what? What do you think we're doing? <laughs> You just you just sitting around, not even. Cold. Oh my god, you're. You said terrible. you didn't put a. You you said you didn't put on a timer yet. And then we went and we figured out. Okay, it's time for the next beer. And as soon as we poured our second beer is when I started the timer. All right, cool. So what about the? Okay, that that pretty much sums up that Oktoberfest. It was good times. We met uh, a couple of awesome new people, and who knows? Maybe we'll talk to them again. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll hang out sometime and drink German Bavarian beers together. Or something. We'll have to go on a double date. Them two, yeah. the guy and the girl, and then Leo and I <laughs> and will go out on a double date together. <laughs> yeah, it'll be romantic as shit. Um, I'll have to bring my, your giant glass and pretend it's mine and you'll call remember, it my, my child. <laughs> you're remembering one o- Oktoberfest, but hit them up with the hit them up with the good one. What, what's oh the good good one? I mean, up over in Big Bear. Oh yeah. I don't know. I think I actually had more fun at the old world than I did over at Big Bear, you know, personally. I did too. But but look at but the sheer size of it, you know? Hey, hey, look over here. Oh we, no, behind you. There we go. Oh <laughs> There's no more egg to be had. Um yeah, so the other thing we did oh shit, we got our time is up.
And fucking burrito dude just joined that shit. <laughs> burrito, burrito dude is dude. in the house. Okay. And they so, like call him burrito. Like, it's weird. What's up, burrito? It must be a giant Mexican dude. We <laughs> ask. Are you a giant Mexican dude? <laughs> I'm telling you that any dude named burrito, burrito is most likely not Mexican. <laughs> you, you don't think that a Mexican guy would be like, oh, I'm totally Mexican. I totally love some burritos. There are more worshippers of burritos that are white guys than it will ever worship a burrito as a Mexican. Oh. Okay. Well, I still have about a quarter of beer left. What about you? White guys are homosexual for burritos. Uh, oh, <laughs> you got it right on. <laughs> there you go. See? Giant white dude that likes burritos. There you go. I lose again. Okay. <laughs> I, let me drink the rest of it. Hold on. Okay. You, you start talking about the story and about going on up there and, you know, the, the cabin okay, and whatnot. Okay. Um, tell me what to talk about. Lance Farsight talks about what he wants to talk about. Like women and drugs and aliens. And you haven't even started the story and I already finished Unicorns up. and fedoras and... My beer, you fucking pussy. And princes and uh, semicolons. You talk about princes and semicolons in the same sentence, huh? Yeah. Dude, you are fucking intense. Oh, man. So, <laughs> intense. Oh, the most intense thing ever. Yeah. I like to end on a high note. So, there so, you go. So, thanks for helping me out in starting the discussion by absolutely talking about absolutely nothing about what we needed to talk about. Uh, You're you ruining a, it. You're wasting you it. You can All right. eat a bag full of fire ants. Okay, are you uh, done with your second beer yet or no? No talk. Okay. So, the whole idea was going up to Oktoberfest up in Big Bear because essentially every single year, Big Bear has this huge, giant, fucking obnoxiously huge, almost like OC Fair style uh, Oktoberfest. Not as big as OC Fair by a long shot, but at the same time, pretty impressive for being up in the goddamn mountains. And people just kind of go up there and visit. And we ended up meeting a whole bunch of crazy frat dudes. But it's like... Uh, if you guys have ever been to Alpine Village, it's like that, but bigger. And there's also like carnival, like shit going on where you can win, win prizes. There's like ride a bull. There's you know a bunch of different like crazy competitions going on. <sighs> Authentic Oopa Oopa bands, not like some of that bullshit that they're having over at Alpine Village now. Alpine <laughs> Village, if you guys are not familiar with, is uh, <clears throat> an Oktoberfest situation and location that's over in uh, in Torrance area. And so over in Torrance, like for the past couple of years, it's been a lot of fun. But as time has gone on, it seems like they're just more worried about, you know, being cheaper and cheaper and trying to conserve money. Yeah. And it's like, just a bunch of uh, – it's just a bunch of people and there's more and more people stacked into that area. It's good for the area. Like it's good for Orange County-based – California Orange County-based people. But they're just smashing them in there. There's no room to like dance or – party and there's like the same thing that you see in la and orange county is uh there's people outside of every event hawking shit for like a dollar or two dollars like i don't want to buy the necklace that you made this morning just i'm trying to get into the event that i paid twenty dollars to be in come on i had to stand in line i got frisked by a huge giant asian (laughs) slash mexican dude and i finally get inside and you're trying to hawk some shit at me and i don't want any of it and what the fuck and uh, it's always funny because the the money that you spend to be at the event is copious compared to the the amount that they want they're like gonna give you a necklace and a cross and a blowjob for like two dollars and you're like oh sorry no i don't i don't have any cash on me but you're like fuck that to dump twenty dollars into your next round of beers <laughs> well you don't understand you're there for beer you're not there for it it's it's like okay like you're gonna go back with it and you're gonna sit there and go Holy shit, now I'm back at home. This fucking blows. I have all this crap that I bought, absolutely nothing. And I could have spent it all on a beer. The beer is going to make you <laughs> nice and happy at the situation, make you enjoy it a lot more. So the, the best way to think of uh, Oktoberfest over at Alpine Village is you can be sitting there. You can go to it. You can hang out with it. Uh, but depending on the night of the week, it would either be an awesome time or a complete shit fest. Where it seems up in Big Bear, we were hanging on out. It's more stable. It's more like every single thing is kind of like more the same. All the Oompa bands are more authentic. They seem like they're kind of like what you expect. And I don't know. It's just a shit ton of people. It's crazy, crazy awesome when it comes to that. Yeah, that place is cool. And I got – I think places out here – and I've been to a few for the past like five years, four or five years. They – um. Just let you know we have eight and a half minutes left. They do (laughs) – of drinking? Oh. 
10 minutes every 10 minutes I, I don't know what i'm thinking about right now but i'm i finished my second beer okay so, i on my third beer oh usually an orange can oh shit <laughs> you're supposed to have poured it already what's wrong with you you're terrible at this 